Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm David Goodwin, and over there is John Landowski. Um, I'd like to open our show before I get into our sponsor and apologize, one, to our sponsor for forgetting them yesterday, and two, for being so out of breath, excited, and tired all at the same time that I completely butchered the beginning of our show. So yesterday's show, um, if you did not see it, that, um, that is why in your groups, if you didn't see them, um, it was only on our page because, well, I was embarrassed by it. So if, if you see it, um, I, I if you didn't see it, I apologize. If you didn't see it, um, yeah, you, you didn't miss a bad show. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 202 West Side Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. They're one of the few stores left in the state of Wisconsin that still sharpens skates the old school way. And no, I'm not talking about with a stone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, but today the National Predators took on the St. Louis Blues. Uh, the first few minutes of the game did not go the way of the Preds, but um, that's the the short side of that story. Um, otherwise, um, they they came out kind of forechecking a little too hard at at that point. Um, it looked like. Um. So uh, uh the uh, statistics will show that later in the game. Uh, Nashville definitely took over. So. As speaking of taking over, I'm going to let John uh, do that. All right. So the statistics for the game, the Predators outshot the Blues 42 to 35. Uh, in the faceoff circle, the Predators won 52% to 48%, even though it was very close. Uh, on power plays, the Blues went one for three. The Predators went one for two. Penalty minutes. Uh, the Predators had six. The Blues had four hits. The Predators had 35. The Blues had 25. Blocks were 19 for the Blues and nine for the Predators. And giveaways were 13 for the Predators, 11 for the Blues. For as many new members of new lines as there are, I am not surprised by this, but here's a statistic that is what we are, did not talk about the Preds outshot them 15 to 8 in the first period. Um, they were outshot 13 to 10 in the second period and outshot them 17 to 14 in the third period. Just you know, the Preds hung away them in the second period, and in the third, first and third, they just took it to them, kind of. Um so then we've got scoring in the first is uh, Robert Thomas, his first with an assist from Justin Falk, his third. Uh, then Tanner Janot scores his third of the season with an assist from Yakov Trenin, his second, and Roman Yossi, his second. And then in the second period, we have Braden Shen scoring his second, assisted by Perenko, his second, and Falk, his fourth. And we have Michael McCarron scoring with an assist from from, well, that was McCarron's first goal with an assist from Yossi, his third, and Forsberg, his third. Then we have Zach Sanford scoring his first with Smith's second assist. Um, th That's the interesting part. It looked like Smith definitely got his confidence back in this game. Yeah. Because he, he definitely, after coming back, and the, the, the difference of, okay, you're an NHLer over there, it doesn't matter how big of a star you are, you're an NHLer. Right. Here, it doesn't matter how big of a star you are, the spotlight's on you if you mess up. Right. And, and that's not what the spotlight is over there. So the difference in what he had to deal with media-wise was way different. Um, scoring in the third was Ryan Johansson with his third with an assist from Forsberg, his fourth, and Matt Duchesne, his third. Then scoring also was Robin Yossi, his first, with an assist from Forsberg, his fifth, and Duchesne, his fourth. Then Mikhail Gravlin scores an empty netter with an assist from Duchesne, his fifth, and Smith, his third. So Smith had two points. Um, three stars of the game were, well, let's get to the goalies first. Uh, first goalie was uh, 
Tomas Grice, uh, he stopped 36 of 41 uh, with an 8.78 save percentage. Or 8.78 save percentage. So 87.8 save percentage. Um, then you have in net for the Reds is UC Saros stopping 33 of 35, uh, one even strength goal, one power play goal with a 0. 0.943 save percentage. Save percentage. Uh, three starts of the game. Uh, third star of the game was Michael McCarron. Second star of the game was Zach Sanford. First star of the game was Roman Yossi. Um, Yossi had five points. Or, sorry, three points. Five points. Ha! That's funny. Uh, he had three points, uh, plus two, two penalty minutes, seven shots on goal, two hits. Um, Tanner Janot had four hits. It is a goal. Um, Michael McCarron had a hit and a goal. Um, I'm not so sure about Cody Glass. I only saw him take one shift that entire third period. So I'm not so sure what went on, may have went on there, but they may have just been running hot lines at that moment. All right. Um, he was 63% on the faceoff, but he was minus one. Uh, Phil Forsberg had three assists. Um, statistically for St. Louis, um, Tari Krug and Justin Falk were both a minus three. Justin Falk was a minus three with two points, so that means he was a minus five if they didn't score at score any goal. Yeah, so if they didn't score any goals at all, he would have been a minus five. Uh, Brady Shen was a minus four. Riley, Riley, and Vladimir Sarasenko, uh, and uh, neighbors, uh, all minus. Uh, neighbors was minus two. Riley was minus three. Tarasenko was a minus two. Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm not speaking from a level of hatred here. It's more of a level of confusion. But um, I am a late, a little bit confused by uh, the hype of Tarasenko. Um, I I just don't understand it. Um, we will be back tomorrow with the Admirals and the Bellevue Senators, which Um, looking now, they were off today, but they played yesterday in Laval, and they won. Um, uh, scoring for them was Igor Sokolov, uh, uh, Robbie, I'm not even going to try the, uh, Javente, uh, figure it out eventually. Um and Rod Cartier. Um their goaltender was Kevin Mandelays. Um funny part in that game also scoring was former Admiral Anthony Rashad. <laughs> um so that's all I got there. Uh the Wild beat Ottawa four to two um, at the current moment, Dallas is beating Washington two to nothing, and Edmonton is beating Chicago five to four. At one point, they were up four to two. So, um, there's ten minutes left in that Blackhawk game for anybody who is curious. Well, it'll probably be done by the time we upload this, but yeah, no, I'm not going to sit around for ten minutes. Uh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The final of that one. Um, other than that, uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, congratulations to the National Predators on their uh, 900th franchise win. Now let's go get 100 more. <laughs> we can't do it this season, but you know we can get to a part where we could win enough to it this season where we could you know, potentially hit it next season. <laughs> 
We do yep. play 70 something games, so I mean all you gotta do is hit what 40. Oh, you can hit in the next three years. We will hit in the next three years, I feel. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. This has been from Milwaukee, Nashville. I'm David Jones. That's John Lindusky, and we are signing off. See y'all tomorrow.